he get he told Mark Hill the day before, okay, 10 a.m. we're gonna go over the hitters. So 10 a.m. Seaver's sitting at his locker. Hill is the big guy in on campus because he's gonna catch Tom Seaver. So all the reporters are talking to Booter. Eight, five after ten comes, ten after ten comes, no Mark Hill. Mark Hill walks up to Seaver at 10 after 10 and says, Seaver says, what do you want? He says, well, let's go over the hitters. He says, I told you 10 o'clock. He says, go put your stuff on. I'm throwing your catch and no signs today. So the game goes <laughs> out. <laughs> and that was when you used to do this. The, the next day pitcher used to chart the game. So the next day pitchers in the clubhouse charting the game. Right. Halfway right. through the game, Hill goes back to change his shirt. And the pitcher looks at, at Booter. He says, Booter. What's the story? I don't see any signs. He says, I screwed up. He says, I wasn't there for the meeting. Whatever he throws, I got to catch. I feel like a goalie today. <laughs> <laughs> so he, made, he, he was tough. He made a, he taught him a lesson. Be there when I tell you to be there because I'm going to do it the right way. Well, knowing Tom Seaver is probably a two-hit shutout, too. Uh, I mean, that was the kind of guy I was. Uh, I faced Seaver a couple of different times, actually. Uh, I, I faced him at a start when I was uh, with the Padres, and he was with the Reds. And uh, believe it or not, it ended up being an 8-7 to seven ball game. Seaver <laughs> went seven innings, gave up seven runs, and ended up uh, beating the Padres. I was out of there after six innings before all the damage was done. But uh, uh, I did get my one and only hit off Tom Seaver that day, and when I went back and looked that up, I'm thinking, man, oh, man, if you're ever going to get one hit in your major league career, it might as well be off Tom Terrific.